In the last few years, we've taken photos of black holes, gazed into the heart of atoms, and looked back at the birth of our universe. But still, there are massive holes in our understanding of the universe and the laws that govern it. It's true, the universe is full of mystery. But what are some of the greatest space mysteries that no one could solve? Discovered in 1785, the galaxy NGC 4535 is located within the Virgo Cluster, which is a huge cluster of nearly 2,000 galaxies that spans 15 million light years. When viewed from ground-based telescopes in the 1950s, astronomers could only see a fuzzy cloud of dust and gas, which led the poet Leland S. Copeland to dub the discovery the lost galaxy due to its cloudy appearance. One of the largest galaxies in the Virgo Cluster, with the advent of more advanced telescopes, astronomers were able to discover that the lost galaxy was heavily populated with stars and the dense dust was responsible for its fuzzy appearance. What other mysteries might be solved as our technology continues to improve? Astronomers have discovered that a large portion of space that includes our galaxy is being dragged towards an area of space. Dubbed the Great Attractor, there is something out there that nearly 220 million light years away is pulling the Milky Way galaxy and many other galaxies towards it. Science has known that the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, but this phenomena is disrupting that growth and causing many galaxies to shift in their paths. While some scientists believe that dark matter could be responsible, many others claim that there is something else that we simply cannot see right now because our view of it is being blocked by the matter in our own galaxy. What came first, galaxies or black holes? A play on the classic chicken and egg question, astronomers have been debating this question for as long as supermassive black holes were found in the center of the vast majority of galaxies. While scientists understand how black holes are formed during the aftermath of a massive star's death, but there is no generally accepted theory as to how supermassive black holes form because nearly every galaxy that has been discovered has a supermassive black hole in its center. One theory states that they could have only formed during the violent and super hot time of the very early universe and are what provided the seeds for galaxies to form. Could black holes be the eggs that hold the matter and forces necessary to create galaxies? Ever since the discovery that the universe is expanding in the 1920s, astronomers have tried to understand this expansion as much as possible. It wasn't long until scientists realized that the rate at which the universe is expanding is also increasing over time and doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. With the most accurate data today from the Hubble Space Telescope, the rate of expansion can only be estimated to a range of somewhere between 67 and 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec rate of expansion. One megaparsec is roughly equal to 3.25 million light years. But even if they can find the rate of expansion, would that be enough to understand what the future will hold for our universe? One hope is that the newly launched James Webb Space Telescope will be able to help astronomers gather more information about this phenomena by allowing them to look further into space and with more detail than ever before. It might seem like kind of a silly question, but the shape of the universe can have large implications in the world of physics and astronomy, and astronomers have been trying to figure out what shape our universe is for quite some time. Not only could this tell us more about the growth of the universe in the future, it could help science understand more about how the universe evolved over its lifetime. There are several theories as to what shape the universe takes, including a smooth round ball, as well as taking a more abstract blob-like shape with an undulating boundary. But the current leading theory that fits into the current models of the universe contends that the universe is mostly flat. Could the lack of evidence about the universe's shape be due to our instruments only being able to see part of the universe? Could this mystery be solved with the advent of newer and more powerful telescopes? The standard model of particle physics currently contains 17 different fundamental particles that make up our universe. 
three of these fundamental particles fall into the category of neutrinos, which are extremely light, tiny, and high-energy particles. In fact, the Earth is bombarded with so many neutrinos that an estimated 100 trillion of them pass through our bodies every single second. A large portion of these neutrinos come from the Sun, while others originate from far more distant sources. To this point, astronomers have not been able to discover the sources of these interstellar neutrinos that have enough energy to make the trip all the way to Earth. That has remained a mystery since their discovery in 1956. Recently, however, a team of scientists were able to trace back one neutrino over its 3.7 billion light years journey to the Earth. Detected by the ice cube detector located under the Antarctic ice, scientists were able to follow the path of this neutrino back to the rapidly spinning supermassive black hole in the center of a distant galaxy. It may seem crazy to hear that astronomers don't know everything about supernovas given how frequently they are found and the amount of study that has been done on them. But there is much we don't know about this event that facilitates the death of a massive star. During supernovas, the inner core of a big enough star will collapse, creating a massive explosion that blows away the outer layers of the star, creating massive clouds of dust and gas in space in varying shapes and sizes. But stars and their cores are almost perfectly spherical. So why do they not stay spherical when they explode? A new study originating at Caltech has released preliminary findings based on their models that show that the inner regions of a star may distort and slosh around shortly before going supernova, which could account for the uneven explosions that follow. Did you know that the matter that makes up everything that we see in our cosmos only accounts for roughly 5% of the entire universe? A much larger portion of it is made up of material called dark matter, which does not interact with light or ordinary matter except through the force of gravity. When the universe was born in the Big Bang, our models show that there was a large amount of matter and antimatter produced, while the emergence of dark matter is not as well understood during this early expansion. One new theory points to a mysterious kick that happened just after the Big Bang as being responsible for the domination of matter over antimatter, but also explains the presence of dark matter in our universe. This theory connects the idea that the early universe was suddenly flooded with more matter than antimatter, causing the annihilation of all of the antimatter and the majority of regular matter. The new theory goes on to contend that during this process, the large amount of dark matter that exists in our universe was also created. While this answer doesn't give a reason for the large discrepancy between the amount of matter and dark matter in our universe, it is a fantastic step towards solving this mystery. It seems like a simple question with a simple answer. We all know what gravity is because we experience the force of it every day. But as of now, science does not have a complete understanding of gravity and has yet to find the particle responsible for carrying the force of gravity, the gravitron. The other forces in our world, like the electromagnetic force, as well as the subatomic weak and strong forces, all have a corresponding particle that mediates its force. So far, gravity has been able to be measured experimentally and has been understood as an intrinsic part of the fabric of space-time. While the current equations regarding gravity have been found to be extremely accurate in practice, what if we're wrong about gravity and it behaves much differently at the large scales of the universe? How would an advanced civilization be able to generate enough energy to power its technology? One physicist put forth the theory that energy could be harvested from a black hole by taking advantage of a zone around the event horizon called the ergosphere. This study shows that it could be possible to harvest massive amounts of energy from a black hole. An energy generating system could be launched into orbit around the black hole in the ergosphere that would draw energy out of the black hole to a safe distance outside the event horizon to be collected. Black holes are the most massive objects in our universe, and from Einstein's famous E equals mc squared equation, we can see that they are also the most energy-rich objects in the cosmos. Could black holes provide the energy necessary for future generations to travel through the vastness of space? 
Are there any other space mysteries that you're waiting for science to solve? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.